can't believe this. We have been given the keys to Elvis Presley's house. I'm so excited. Let's go check it out. So we're here at Elvis Presley's house. We are here with Patrick Michael. Great to see you. Great to see you, Michael. And uh, th this is just such an honor to be asked to, to come and tour this it's property. Amazing, it's amazing, historic. It's so to, so to tell everybody about yourself, tell us a little bit about the property. Camera's yours. I'm Patrick Michael with LA State Rentals and Brokerage. We're a high-end boutique luxury brokerage firm and we have properties around the world. So this particular house is in a celebrity neighborhood in Beverly Hills on the border of Homeby Hills even uh, across the street is Michael Jackson's former house. Right, directly across the street. Directly across the street. Uh, this house sits on 2.7 acres and uh, we have seven bedrooms in the house. Total with all the cottages, we have a seven to ten, uh, about 10 to 12 bedrooms if we furnish them. And it has a tennis court. Tennis court, pool. pool house, pool. You know, makes the hairs on my arms go up. Elvis Presley's house. And apparently some of the rooms are absolutely original, correct? Original rooms, the saloon. We have an amazing birdcage outside. We have Japanese gardens. You're going to have a blast. And these are Elvis's touches. Correct. Let's go, Adam. This is insane. We are in Elvis Presley's house. Can you imagine, like, he's walked around here in his blue suede shoes. That's right. Is that why you wore your blue suede shoes today? Total coincidence. Yeah, right. Total coincidence. None of your fashion is a coincidence. That one was. So this is the informal living room, and it's beautiful. Very zen with that beautiful outlook. I can't believe I'm in Beverly Hills here. I know. Look how ornate this fireplace is. So we don't normally get to see things like this because the majority of the houses that we film are modern, but this is like the real deal. Come and, come and take a seat right here. Imagine you're Elvis Presley and I'm John Wayne. Shall I sing? Mm. John Wayne? John Wayne? Yeah. The, uh, were they friends? I, I'm going to say they were, even if they weren't. We'll Let's say they, say were. they were. Yeah, yeah. But look, we're sat here, we're enjoying a nice glass of cognac. Cognac, right. I cheers, I don't think John Adam. Wayne had hand tattoos, but cheers. Cheers, Elvis. But the reality is Elvis sat in this room. I know. That's just the biggest, I don't know, who do you think is the biggest pop icon, Elvis or Michael Jackson? It has to be one of the two. I, I would hate, there would be a coin toss. Yeah, it really would. It I think would, if you really went would. to the middle of Uganda and said, do you know who Elvis Presley is or do you know who Michael Jackson are? Even the most remote of tribes they both would, would be like, yeah. hee hee, or what did Elvis do? Uh -huh. Good impersonation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. But how pretty <laughs> is this? Look outside. I can't wait to get out there. Th this just feels like you're on vacation. It does. And there's a tennis court down there. And then also tons of other rooms, right? Or houses. I think there's five cottages. And this would be a more formal living room, <laughs> I guess. Right? I think these older houses were so used to seeing the open plan, new right. modern ones, right. that these did have a lot more rooms. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what I do see. So if you open that door there, that takes you to the bird cage that in, Patrick was telling us about. Indeed it does. There's no birds in here, I hope. And that leads off the master bedroom. I, mean, I can imagine it being very loud. For sure. A lot yeah. of birds in there. And do you remember the window seats from England? I do. Yeah. It's something you don't see too often here. You do People not. used to sit by the windows, look left and right, and you've got nice views. Before they were looking at iPads. Indeed. And this is the not-so-formal, not-so-formal living room <laughs> with a bar. Let so me, uh, this is very interesting, isn't hold it? Hold on, hold on. Would you like a drink? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> there think... is some booze in here. Would you like Ooh. some? Oh, yeah, what have they got? Oh, a bit of everything. So this is kind of like three separate living areas that all flow into one. So maybe you would have the guys here having a drink and you know whatever. You might have the ladies there or out there. Right. Also a great little party space as well. Phenomenal party space. I'm excited to show you the room upstairs. Well, actually, it's on this level, I believe. This, this would be the dining room. And again, this is where Elvis would have his dinner. Look at the ceiling. It's lovely, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? It really is. And what I like is how every single window has a beautiful aspect. Every room looks out onto some lush part of the gardens. It's gorgeous. House down there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So nice. And the rooms are big. The ceilings aren't that high, at least not in this particular room. But that was something when they built these, house, these houses back in the day, they didn't put high ceilings. 
And this is probably where the staff would be. Or maybe not. But it's lovely. Okay, let's go this way. The kitchen is delightful. This is, this is beautiful marble. I kind of feel like I'm in England. This feels like an English like country home. It not like a, a country bit. manor, but like a cottage in the countryside. Yeah, with the windows, with the lead flashing. Is that lead? I mean, I don't know if this is lead, but it, it probably it, is. It used I mean, to be. Yeah, I don't know what the legality of that is anymore. <laughs> but, and this is an extension to the kitchen here because these are the refrigerators, huge refrigerators, fridge and freezer. Yeah, there's so much space. This is how you get around the house. Elvis used to ride this. <laughs> Ready. Ready. This room is untouched. This is Elvis's room the way Elvis had it. Let's go visit it. I'm trembling. Watch the step. How cool is this? Yeah, this is wild. Elvis's saloon. A card table. Huge fireplace behind you, Adam. Huge. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And can you imagine him standing behind this bar? I can. Actually, he probably didn't. He had people doing that, right? Maybe. Although, I mean, this is the man that used to like shoot cars and TVs and stuff when he wasn't happy with them. I imagine <laughs> he was quite a solitary gentleman at times with yeah. that type of a temper. You're, you're, you're not wrong. And then upstairs here, he had his screening room, his theater. Really? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, this is also just the way that it was. Let's go take a peek. So this is not like the theatres we're used to seeing, but it's very interesting. Look at this. <laughs> and yet another bar. I can't imagine the kind of antics that happened. Oh, you have to use your imagination <laughs> on that one. I mean, like you say, Elvis Presley, the biggest superstar the world has probably ever known. Yes. Like, when you get to that level of fame and success. You have to go I, nuts, right? I can't imagine like what feels normal anymore. Well, nothing's normal. Right. If there's not 5,000 people screaming outside his house, that's not a normal day. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that wild? Totally wild. Did you notice this? I just saw that. Okay, so this is some kind of elevator contraption to, I don't know if it moves people or it would move like booze up and down. What did you do? I pressed up. Okay, I don't have the money to pay for whatever I break. So. Yeah, and this is a piece of history. So. <laughs> The, the YouTube title, Adam Broke Elvis's Elevator. So another interesting thing. So this is his theater with a little restroom and attached to the restroom, you wouldn't expect this. Oh no, I was going to say a sauna. And I, I'd never opened this, this door before. I broke Elvis's this chandelier. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, that this, is not good design, is it? This is literally Elvis Presley's sauna. He right parked his butt on those slats and sweated some. And, and why did they put the chandelier here? <laughs> because, I mean, come on, that's not good design. It's not. That Although is. I don't think you broke anything. I didn't. Well, Maybe it's made to in withstand the impact. Well done. But I knew, I'd, I'd never opened this door, obviously, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have done that. But I knew it was a sauna based on this and didn't take into consideration the, let's get out of here before I break something very expensive. So this I'm assuming was just one of the, the staff quarters, but the reason we're going in here is because this strange contraption is in fact the elevator and there's the buttons. Let's see what happens. But Adam, there's, will, will, that, hit, will that hit that? I don't know. Oh, is it going to break? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, do, stop, it. don't do it. Yeah, yeah don't I don't do know. <laughs> Maybe it just like it jumps on the what? top, but. What? I have never seen like an external elevator like that. No, I haven't either. Um, but would you not think that that trap door opens automatically? I, when it... I would, but I don't have the money to place that bet. Let's not play that game. <laughs> Let's go. So, so this here I know is a real elevator. Well, the other one's a real elevator too. Look at the mural on that wall. I know. And that's see-through. So you can see that mural, I'm assuming, all the way up to the top. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to guess that Elvis probably did use that elevator. I, I think so too, especially when he had a couple too many. 
And this is the butler's pantry, which brings us back to where we were earlier. Let's go upstairs. So it's very likely that this house has been renovated a couple of times since Elvis lived here. I'm sure. So the rooms and the layout is probably the same, but the decor, definitely not. Correct. Let's test your knowledge. Power plug in the wall there and one there. Yeah. So that was probably for lights mm -hmm. where they hadn't run wires through the wall. Well, no, you have to put the wires to these. You testing my knowledge? What do you think it is? It's a power plug. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Elvis's bedroom. Mm, I'm gonna say this wasn't Elvis's bedroom. This closet is not big enough for Elvis. <laughs> this is not the master. In fact, this is not the master. The reason why I'm guessing it's not the master is because I'm pretty sure the bird cage goes up to the window of the master. Good point. But no, maybe it's the master guests because this certainly belongs to the master. I mean, it has to. It's beautiful. This is interesting. This is the living room for the master bedroom. And then keep going through. Like what, what's... And that bathroom there is probably... So you don't... If you invite guests here that you don't want in your own bathroom... I don't, I'm not even going to go there. But look. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. It's actually quite lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's very retro, but... One sink. One, yeah, one sink, but a huge one vanity. Sink. Yes, indeed. And then here we have a lovely shower. A loo and a bidet. Some closet pieces. More closet. More closet. <laughs> this closet is being renovated. <laughs> okay. And now we're in his bedroom. Wow. And there's the birdcage. So how did we see the birdcage? We were underneath in the third living room, looking out through that door. So this, opening this would actually access the birds. Yes. But the, I'm just checking with chandeliers. <laughs> so that is how you would see your birds. And that second part of the birdcage is for what purpose, do you happen to know? Yeah, that's how you get in and out, I presume. It's beautiful. Imagine opening your door and having all the birds tweeting. I don't know what to make of this whole section here because this clearly opens to that and it's all open. Yeah. So, I mean, it's almost like if you had guests, then they would have access to this bathroom, but this would be his bathroom? These are very special guests. These are very special guests. These are very special. I don't think this is where the children Sleep Did we go down here? Uh, no. So, more guest bedrooms. Oh, wait. Come hither, Michael. Oh, what is this? This house is never ending. It's a... I was going to say a bathroom. It is a bathroom, eventually. It's a very strange bathroom, but very cool in its own way. Look at this. So, a round tub with <laughs> doors, with patio well, doors. That's because of the shower. Oh, it smells nice in there. It does smell nice. Have you ever seen a bathtub shower combo with a patio door set? I can't say I have. But there again, I've never been in Elvis's house. take to the Japanese gardens which are quite spectacular so we've been told so this is one of the cottages that we were talking about earlier uh, we're not going to go in it but it has three bedrooms and two bathrooms and a living area and a little kitchen and there are three or four of these on this property so needless to say Elvis liked his his guests so this is a three parcel lot, isn't it? So three lots, you can yes. access it from two different streets. Correct. Oh my God. This is special. <laughs> this is something I have never seen before. Not even in Japan. What? Wow. And guys, we haven't been down here yet at all. I mean, this almost looks like stables, doesn't it? It really does. I was thinking that myself. Look how big this is. Oh my, it still goes around there. Okay, so here we have 
This is amazing. Look at these doors. This, wow, this, it's like a tiki hut. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Brilliant. Look at the, like, have you seen the, all the metal work on the doors? Wow. Incredible. And this goes, so this is the other access point to the street. There's a couple of garages there. There's a garage here and some stuff. I mean, this is wild. This really is wild. What do you suppose is inside here? I don't know. I'm, I'm truly amazed with what I'm seeing. Look at the canoe. <laughs> I wonder if Elvis ever serenaded anyone in that. There's the scale of this. What would this be, a lagoon? I mean, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this we were told is called a hibachi. 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 Excuse me for that. <laughs> Careful. Yes. And here you would serve Japanese refreshments. I mean, this is wild. Anyone for sushi? Because, I mean, I just said how I felt like I was in a cottage in England. And now I feel like I'm in Japan. Yeah, for real. And this is the, uh, I, I guess, uh, original type of grill. Yeah. Just imagine having your dinner in here. If you filmed this and told somebody you were in Japan, they, they, they couldn't argue, could they? Let's go. What's up, guys? They really do. They think they're coming for food, don't yep. they? And look, there's a little, like, uh, maybe a yoga hut or something over there. It's breathtaking. I mean, it's truly breathtaking so we were just about to turn around and go back towards the main residence and adam spotted this it's another it's got a zen area yeah almost it's like a stage it is isn't it because look there, there almost looks like there's been some terracing here yeah you could uh, perform a little mini elvis concert i mean look how beautiful that is it's there. just so serene Yeah, no kidding, right? All right, so this has a story. This is where Elvis used to hide his guests. Now, you guys can use your own imagination what that means, but he would have his guests come here, play in the pool, and let's go inside. Let's see what's actually in here. How would you hide a guest swimming in the pool from somebody in the main house? Well, it's a long way away. <laughs> you, can't that see the, you can't see the pool from the house. That's true. Um, I guess he had his security, right? Oh, that's the shower. This is a loo. I guess that's it. No, no. No, because that's the main room. Not through there. Oh, maybe you just go through the sliding doors. I guess so. Look, there's another place out there. Maybe it's there that he had them. Yeah, or in that tough shed. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. So this is where the pizzas got cooked. That's so Look cool. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Explain that to me. <laughs> I think it's been bricked up at some point, hasn't it? Yeah, and just turned into a nothing. But it really looks very cool. That's so fun. And then here we have another scary little room that leads to that bathroom. Got it. Okay, nice. Original pool, untouched. Kind of scary when you think about it. Imagine coming up to the edge and it's just raw brick. I don't think they make them like that anymore, do they? Here you go, look. I'll, I'll get in this side, you get in that side. Look, I'm James Dean. Ah. <laughs> well, thanks for inviting me, Elvis. This is lovely. I love what you've done with the place. It's absolutely amazing. Glad you're enjoying yourself, James. <laughs> Very much so. Um, where's the girls? They're, they're in the, sh the tough shed back there that you <laughs> mentioned. Okay, how do we get to the tennis court? Righty tighty? Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, you can go out that gate. Okay, let's go out that gate. It's like you know your way around. Ah, I've been here a couple of times with the boys. And this is the gate that you haven't seen before, but this is how you get into the property from the road. And as you can see, the house is a, quite a distance. It's a long driveway, very picturesque. And this is the tennis court, complete with basketball, viewing deck. Yeah, this can is a monster. Can you imagine playing here? This is just beautiful. Should I have a go? Go on then. That's probably okay. got spiders on it. Yeah, I was just making sure. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah. a whole lot of air in here. I'm not very good at this. 
Yeah! Never miss, do I? It's beautiful. It's not exactly the best style in the world, but hey, hey what can I tell you? If you score it, counts, right? Right. Guys, this was Elvis's house, and I hope you enjoyed it half as much as we did. You'd have had a blast. The Japanese gardens were so special. The house is special. It just has that buzz, right? Yeah, it's it's so crazy to think that he once mooched around this place, and I know. yeah, I probably stood where I'm standing here telling somebody off. Don't step on the blue suede shoes. Blue suede shoes. <laughs> in it to win it. We'll see you. So I'm here in the house by myself, Michael's just left. I'm filming all of the B-roll segments that you guys have probably already seen by now. And I'm just in the bar and I pulled what I thought was a light switch, but check this out. So I come in here, there's this lever, which I thought, oh, you just flick it and it's a cool looking light switch. Well, I flicked it and this happened. Creepy Elvis cellar. <laughs> it's scary. Where's, where's the lights? There. Right, I'm doing it. We're going down into the creepy Elvis cellar. <laughs> oh my god, this is how horror movies start. <sighs> okay, good. Alright, there's no bodies down here, but I don't know what you can see, and I don't know where the lights are, but it is a wine cellar. <sighs> that was terrifying. Okay, let's go before I get trapped in here. 